Greetings gentlemen and ladies. In today's video we are going to be taking a look at how to rig up your static mesh and into an Unreal Engine skeleton so that it just works with all of the Unreal Engine Marketplace animations and uh, ALS and that sort of thing. Okay, let's get into it. So to create my character, I'm going to be using a combination of Leonardo AI and Hyperhumans Rodin to generate a nice 3D model for this experiment. You might have your own model already, that's perfectly fine. All right, now I've got my model generated up with Hyperhumans Rodin. I'm gonna be importing that into Blender. Before we go into Blender though, you are going to need Auto Rig Pro. It's a $50 plugin. I'm gonna leave the link to this, also to Rodin and, and Leonardo AI all in the description to this video so you guys can access those easily. And from within Blender, make sure that you have your plugin installed. You just go to add-ons and then you go up to here and you go to install from disk and you locate the zip file for the plugin and it should appear as such auto rig pro and when that is the case all you need to do is pull out the little tab over here and you'll see arp that's auto rig pro okay let's get into this tutorial okay first thing i'm going to do is delete the cube from my scene then i'm going to go to file and import fbx doesn't need to be fbx but it is in this case for me i'm going to grab my fbx file and do a little import now the first thing you might notice in case you see this issue where he comes below the ground is that you might want to just uh, make sure the height of your character is where it should be because this is going to be important so we'll just kind of like match that up like so now he's on the ground now what we're going to do is we're just going to select our character and we're going to go to the arp auto rig pro and we're going to go down to uh, auto rig pro smart and just click on get selected objects and we're going to select the full body and click on OK and from here we will find the button called add neck so all we're going to do is we're going to click on add neck put that around the neck level the next button is add chin and we're going to put that around the chin level uh, shoulders we're going to go and put those at the yeah you guessed it shoulder shoulder level and then the wrists will go to the wrists and then the spine will go kind of around the pet well kind of around the pelvis area and then the ankles will go right around here uh incidentally we're going to want to make sure that our skeletal type is set to mannequin there we go ue5 manny quinn Okay, now that we're all configured, what we're going to do is we're going to click on Go, and then we should get a rigging up here. There we go. There's our rigging. Uh, now, what we need to do is make sure our bones are in, place, are in place. Now, in my case, since the character, I think, didn't start in a uh, open A pose or T pose or whatever, uh, I've got some issues with the hands right down here. So, in order to fix that, what we can do is we can just kind of select all the bones for the hands, and we can do a little bit of rotating and a little bit of adjusting and we can find how to get those better in place. Uh, luckily, the symmetry feature makes it so that we only have to do this on one side and uh, the rest will just kind of synchronize up. So if you have anything out of place that you need to manually adjust into place, go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that. I'm not going to make you guys watch this whole thing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to click on Match to Rig, give that a moment to process, and we're going to get our, well, we're going to get something like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Skin, and we're going to click on, well, we better actually, sorry, my bad, go over, go over into Object Mode first, and then click on your Static Mesh, then click on your Rig, and then we're going to choose uh, the Voxelized skin type binding and we're just going to go ahead and click on bind the order of which you click on those matters okay and now at this point if we go back into pose mode we should be able to select something like the torso or whatever and twist it around and get some character movement select that uh, boot and move that leg up and down okay if we see that we should be good to go okay now from within object mode select any of the uh, little black bounding boxes the armature now we can go ahead under our ARP and look down for the ex export FBX option here from Autorig Pro export F export FBX and we're going to be choosing the Unreal Engine preset with the humanoid preset and everything else should be fine to leave as a default go ahead and click on auto export rig pro give your file a name etc etc 
export it and let's head over into Unreal Engine and do the next bit. Okay, back into Unreal Engine, we're going to make a folder, right click, and we're going to go to Import Game FBX. We're going to look for our character that we exported from Blender. There it is. And we're going to actually, at this screen, assign the mannequin skeleton, which is SK underscore mannequin. Otherwise, everything should be good as default. Go ahead and click on Import. And we get a little arrow there, that's okay. But if we take a look at the skeletal rigged mesh, we should see our skeleton uh, bone structure all in place. You may have noticed that my model came without a texture. I'm gonna quickly just create a material for my character so it looks cooler when we finally preview. Okay, and there we have our cyborg cat. Now, let's go ahead and swap out our UE mannequin skeleton. You might be using the default, something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and swap that to our new character there we go no that's the old one that i started the demo with there we go there's our new cyborg cat and since he's rigged to that unreal engine skeleton we should just be able to jump into the game and he should just work there we go isn't that nice let's take a closer look oh that looks awesome <laughs> looks so good uh this is so cool because like i say this character was generated from 2d concept art using uh, leonardo ai and then put through hyperhumans rodin again link to all those links in the descriptions below uh, if you guys want to try those out, I'm having a lot of fun with them. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and uh, have fun creating. I'll see you in the next one.